In the previous part of the tutorial, we managed to update a car and add a new image. And when we add, we add this new image, we remove the old one. In this part, we will deal with the delete button. So how we can make that? If we click on the delete button, we need we want to delete the data from the database and delete the file from the upload folder. So the thing is very easy. We already do it. And for make this thing, let's say on backend manage cloud, let's go to delete single and update we could here it was brand but now we deal with cars and where the id will be like this and here the thing will not be brand id let's come back to cars screen on the front end and the, the name is car id and i write something different from this one and When we click on this, we will remove the cast and now let's refresh and clicking on this we will delete the car from the database but we need to remove the image from storage from storage so so how we need we can make this so we for make this we need to get this the image so let's come back to chaos and let's say is that if we need to check if we have some hide an image that exists it means that is a image card name here if we have this this post exists let's see if he said or simply let's say if it's not empty so if this one is not empty it means that we have the car have some image and we just need to take the same thing and when we go here on delete single if this one exists we just want to remove the image and let's say we will call it image for this time and it will be equal to It was 2D, I have right one, but we will make some correction later. And here on top is this one, and here is the image that you want to remove. And now here is not odd image, is image. And now save and And now save and come back to front end and refresh and notice that in our upload folder we have we have this only image that exists and if we click now on delete and why is a brand deleted let's check with this code And when we delete, when we delete here, instead of manage brand, is manage gas. And the message will not be brand deleted successfully, it will be car deleted successfully. And here is car deleted close. And now, if I click now on this OD, why everything doesn't, nothing don't work at the first time. Let's click on this one and say undefined array, car ID, undefined array, 
ID and image. And we need to pass the data here. And here is the car ID that we get. And we get the car ID here, we pass the car ID here. And if we pass the car ID here, we can't get this image here like this one. So let's say we will have a query for get the image, it will be equal to You just select image from cars where ID will be equal to this one. And let's say the query image will be executed in the array of The car ID because here on the front end we pass the car ID as a parameter and we haven't passed the image so we can't get the image like this so we need to make this one to get the image and let's create first an image variable here that it will be by default empty and let's make a, make a loop and the image now will be equal to this image And now we make this first the same check if the image is different from empty, we remove it. And let's move our query at the end. And first we sell we give an IPTV value of empty and we make some requests to select this existing to, to select the image from the table with the existing ID. After we make a loop and we update the value of the image. And now after this one, we delete the image. And when done, we delete the row. Okay, let's save this and go, go to app to test. Save this one. Now let's click on delete. And we have brand deleted and car deleted successfully. We have made some mistake on the title. And in the upload folder, you will notice that nothing will be existing because you remove it here. And now let's come back to so here is not brain deleted, is car deleted. So I hope you learned a lot with this tutorial because I'm very enjoy when I do this. And don't forget to subscribe but before I leave i want to make some verification because you notice that when we choose the image i have saved this i have make some alert to, to display the data you can use the, this the function that we create to change it as you want and next thing to work to that i noticed too is that our close button doesn't working so let's we need we, we will just make that if we click on close button we want to close the mode that 
so it's the same thing let's say we want to call a function when we click on this specific class and we want just to make the car model to be i and when we add it uh, we need I don't think maybe you need to when maybe we need to reset the form okay we will reset the form when we click to exit the model because we don't want to keep necessary data so now let's refresh or oh, now click on add your car what happened where are you going we are now <laughs> and it doesn't working and let's just say we change we give a specifically close modal and let's take this id and going to the top and on the button let's give it this id I don't know why the data dismiss value doesn't work. So let's add our custom close button. And now if we, if we click on click on close, the model will dis disappear. 